Welcome everyone and welcome to all my new viewers. This video I'll be making a plain face box phone for the general store. I will be giving measurements but just keep in mind that I work in 1 16 scale so you may have to adjust them for your scale. I'm first gluing four layers of the front and back piece. I start off gluing two layers together and then the other two and then I will glue all four pieces together. You may have to use three layers or four layers or five layers just depends upon the material that you're using. The way that I figure it out is I hold several sheets of my material together, my cardstock, and I'll put my ruler on the edge to see how many sheets it takes to be a sixteenth inch thick. Here's the front and the back and I have the measurements written on one of them. I know it looks a little off but it is a sixteenth inch thick. And now just like on the front and back I'm gluing the four layers together for the side pieces. And here are those two pieces with the measurement written on that one. And they're a sixteenth inch thick. Now I'm working on the top and bottom just the same as I did for the front and back and the sides. Sorry my voice is a little scratchy today. I'm not sick, but I think my allergies are bothering me. And here are those two pieces with the measurement written on the one. Now I'm gluing the top and the bottom onto one of the sides. And now I'm gluing the other side onto it. And now I'm beveling the edge of the front and the back pieces all the way around on four sides. I measured and marked a sixteenth of an inch all the way around for the placement of the top and bottom section. Before I glue it to the front and the back section, I'm sanding it so that it will sit nice and flat. Here I'm gluing it to the back. The top and bottom so you don't notice all the layers of the cardstock and I'm softening the edge of the little box too. Here I'm gluing the front on and watch to make sure that the bevel is facing out. Here I'm showing you that you can see the bevel on the front of both the back and the front pieces. This strip of paper is five and a half inches long by one sixteenth inch wide. I'm rolling it up and I'm going to make this same piece three times. It's going to be the two bills and part of the mouthpiece. I'm using the end of a paintbrush to cup it a little bit. Be sure to make three of these. I'm using a regular size hole punch and I'm just punching out a bunch of circles but I really only used four of them and I glued them together. Using the hole punch is fun so I kind of got carried away. This will be part of the mouthpiece. I cut a strip of paper an eighth of an inch wide by eleven inches long. 
I'm going to use this piece to form the ear piece. And I just rolled it up. I'm using a bamboo skewer, but you could use anything that was uh, skinnier than the paintbrush handle. I'm pressing it on the table to flatten the end. So it should look a little bit like this. This part is optional, but I just wanted to add it around the earpiece for kind of a decorative trim. I think I only glued it around one or two times. Here's what we have so far and how it's starting to look like a phone. And now I'm gluing that third little cup to the hole punched piece. It's starting to look like the little mouthpiece now. Here I'm painting the inside of all of my rolled paper pieces. On the mouthpiece, I went ahead and painted glue on the outside as well. This strip of paper is a sixteenth of an inch wide and five and a half inches long. I roll it up and I just keep it in a disc shape. And here I'm going to glue it to the back of my mouthpiece. And here is how the mouthpiece looks now. Here I'm painting glue on the rest of the surfaces of the rolled paper pieces. Here I'm using a pointy tool to make a little hole on the back of the mouthpiece into the little disc to glue a piece of wire into. My wire is 18 gauge and it's coated, but it doesn't need to be coated. That's not necessary. I cut a piece of cardstock an eight, a sixteenth of an inch by one inch, and I'm wrapping it around a dowel just to get a little curve in it. The dowel is covered with plastic wrap so that the glue won't stick to it. You don't need to keep holding it on the dowel at this point. I'm making something that looks kind of like a spur. I'm trying to make the hook that's on the side of the phone to hold the earpiece. This is how it looks on the dowel before I paint it with glue. I'm wrapping string around it to keep it closed up and on the dowel. And now I'm painting it with wood glue. This part is very fiddly, so you may want to use something else instead of the method that I'm showing. Here I'm gently making a little bit of a hole in the end of the earpiece to glue some string into. I cut a piece of crochet thread and cover it with glue and let it dry so it's easier to work with. I cut eight more of the 3 8 inch squares, like the top and bottom in the beginning. I glue four of them together for the little table top on the front of the phone, and then I cut the other four in half. Then I glue four of the triangles together twice to make the brackets for the little table top. And I glue the little brackets onto the little table top so it looks something like this.
This little piece of crochet thread I'm just going to glue to the edge of the little tabletop to look kind of like a little lip to hold the little notepad. I'm not making a notepad in this video, but I've noticed in a lot of the old pictures that they have the little notepad sitting on it. This part is optional, but I glued a little bit of that crochet thread around the top of the earpiece for a decorative trim. And again, this is optional too, but I, I glued it around the uh, hole punch and the little cup mouthpiece. This is how it turned out looking. Now I'm gluing the little tabletop onto the front of the phone, towards the bottom. Here I realize I forgot to sand that sharp edge on the top of the tabletop, so I'm filling it with some wood, wood glue. Now I'm painting the little bills and the earpiece and the mouthpiece with black paint. I painted the phone base with a light coat of Mod Podge to seal it. Here I'm base coating it with Anita's Moccasin Brown paint. Here I, I still didn't like that little edge on the table, so I'm, I'm just filing it down a little bit, and then I'll paint it with the Moccasin Brown. Now I'm using Anita's Earth Brown paint mixed with a little water to give it the, to give it the wood grain look. I'm painting the earpiece hook with silver paint. I'm also painting part of the mouthpiece with the silver. I noticed in pictures of old fashioned phones that they have like a little black plate on uh, the side where the hook is and the front where the mouthpiece is and where the crank is, but I'm just painting it with black paint just for the illusion that it's there. I wanted the, the earpiece to be removable, but it was so fiddly I figured how, how often would I really remove it, so I just went ahead and glued it on. So here is the mouthpiece and the earpiece. I'm bending the mouthpiece wire across a paintbrush to get a little bend in it. Trimming off some of that extra wire. And here I'm gluing it on. Kind of messy with the glue cleaning all that glue off. I glued a little hole on the side to glue the foam cord into. And here I'm just trying to decide how I want to glue it.
and now I'm just gluing the little bills on and I realized that I I forgot to make that and put that in this video so you'll want to add a little dinger on the in between the two bills here's how I bent the wire for the crank on the side and I'm just gluing a little bit of paper up next to the bend to look like the little handle and I'm cutting off the extra wire close to the little handle I painted it all black and the little handle I painted brown. I drilled a hole on the side and then I glued it on. And now it's complete and you have a little old fashioned wall phone. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.